We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed with their, by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Every single American knows these words. We're taught them in school, we see them on TV, we see them in ads, on posters, and on television. But why is it that it, these words have become so important to who Americans perceive themselves as? Sorry, I'm all shaky. <laughs> happiness is defined by the, uh, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary as the state of being happy. It's not a very helpful definition, but that's what it is. And the definition of happy is contentment. Um, Happiness is a concept that humanity has been battling with for years. Uh, as soon as we start to have written records, the Epic of Gilgamesh is one of our earliest examples, we have people trying to find happiness, what happiness is, how they can find it, how other people can find it. We've covered everything from love to serenity, faith, sex, money, fame, glory, you name it, people have tried it as a way to find happiness. Um, Americans for centuries have thought of happiness as a very achievable goal. We have this hard work ethic that we believe that every single American with hard work, integrity, can pull themselves up from the deepest of the rags up into the highest places of the riches. We talk about Carnegie and Ford, modern people like John, uh, who did Apple? Steve Jobs, sorry. Um, our version of the American dream has come to mean upward mobility. We see the American dream, we see this pursuit of happiness as being able to move upwards, to find in ourselves and in society, in our positions, a true type of happiness. Um, the modern American dream, therefore, is specifically upward mobility. It started with the founding fathers themselves. Andrew Jackson, Benjamin Franklin, both are success stories of people who started low and ended high. The Declaration of Independence states that all people should have the right to pursue happiness. It does not necessarily say that they will obtain it, but it does say that they have the right to search for it. But who exactly gets to search for this happiness? When they say that all men are created equal, that all men have the ability to search, for, uh, all men have the ability to pursue happiness, does that specifically mean white men, straight men, only men? Um, where exactly is the American dream today? The American dream, as Dr. Jim Cullen states in his book, uh, The American Dream, uh, he states that the American dream is a story of emissions. And indeed, you can look at modern movements, at movements from the last 50, 60 years, the civil rights movements, the feminist movements, the LGBTQ movements, all arose from the fact that not everybody has the same right to be able to pursue their happiness. Um, essentially, in order to pursue happiness, the upward, the upward mobility American dream view, you have to be a white man. But that's not how it should be. Um, the American dream as we see it today is it a dream of success. It's a dream of wealth. The American dream has always been a way for a specific group of people to find success and to find happiness. They don't always do it, but they have that right to be able to try and find it, to search for it. It's a skewed view that modern Americans have that, that achievement of the American dream means that you have found happiness. And usually it means that you have found happiness through social mobility and through wealth. I believe that it is this view of the American dream that has caused so many people of our generation to say that the American dream is dead. The American dream, however, is still alive and kicking. There are people, uh, there are people all over the United States who have this hope, who have this dream of opportunity that they will be able to move upwards. But what exactly does that mean for us today when we have a, a, an unemployment rate of nearly 7%? Um, in order for our generation to have an American dream, I say we have to change exactly what we think of the American dream as. It can't be seen as just the good life. Upper, um, upper mobility is still important. The mere concept of it is something that drives people forward, that gives them hope. Um, however, the dream of equality is as much a part of the American dream as upward mobility is. Uh, the pursuit of that dream is, while not necessarily a happy road, has opened the possibility of success to people who once um, could have been jailed or even worse for simply speaking. There was pain and bloodshed and terror, but at the end of the day when the battle had been fought and the dream of equality was more of a reality, reality than ever, um, there is now the possibility for more Americans to pursue their own happiness. 
And whether that meant casting a vote or being able to fall in love with who you wanted. Um, this is what the American dream should be about, the pursuit of happiness for all people, all Americans, regardless of race, gender, creed, sexual orientation, or class. If our generation is to have an American dream, we must look away from what it has been for recent generations. Greed cannot be our American dream. In order for the American dream to remain relevant in today's world, where upward mobility may no longer be entirely possible, where higher education has become the new high school diploma, and Americans hold an astonishing $1.2 trillion in student debt, where unemployment rates are nearing 7%, the highest since 2009 when they were 10%, while there were over 1 million people last year alone filing for bankruptcy and 15% of Americans today living in poverty. We must look back towards the words that inspired the American dream in the first place. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, and that among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If we are to have an American dream, we must again think of it as the pursuit of happiness. Our dream needs to become one in which all Americans are equal, in which all Americans are able to pursue happiness and opportunity without the fear that they will be treated differently from any other American.